biggest problem with the whole Western world is fat women. Okay. Fat women are the number one reason why dating is fucked up. If we can fix the fat woman problem, everything is fixed, right? Because here's the deal, right? When you're a, like a, a fucking fat, gross woman, right? Which I think they say, the, like, what's the average? Let me see real quick. The average weight of an American woman. Okay. The average weight of an American woman is now 170 pounds. Okay. 117 pounds. So they are, I'm just 15 pounds lighter than these chicks. Okay. And that's huge. 170 pounds is huge. Okay. The average weight of a Japanese girl is, let me just double check, of a Japanese woman. I believe it's like 100 pounds, if that. Yeah, the average weight of a Japanese woman is 117 pounds. And I know a lot of you guys home are like, oh, that's stick thin. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. First of all, you don't get any pussy, most likely. Okay? You have that kind of retarded out outlook on life. And secondly, okay, dude, you don't understand how fat these girls are. You guys don't get it. Like, you you don't understand how much of a, a whirlwind of fat, filth you live in the united states is okay they are absolutely terribly gross okay uh let me show you here real quick here we go okay so here's the deal right see if you just have because let's just say because out of america right now in america seven out of ten women all right are obese or excuse me overweight okay they are overweight okay and they're getting in spoiler alert they're getting fatter so let's say you have a chick that weighs 170 170 okay 170 170 okay so that's four five Oh, actually, no, I got to do so. No. And then 30% of people are uh, obese, right? Out of these, I'm going to put now you have obese, obese, obese. Okay. And then going back to this, another one, 70 year. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have like two girls that are like 120 each. Okay, now this right here is typically average in other countries. But when you have chicks that are 50 pounds heavier than the average girls around the world, okay, these chicks, guess what? Now you have, let's just talk about the average guys. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Guess what? All of these guys, they want these girls. Okay? So not only are you in a hyper-competitive market, okay? So all these guys are looking for these, right? But going back to this, right? When you talk about these women here, all of these women want guy number 10, which is the high value man guy. Now, these guys will pump and dump some of these girls in secret. For sure. But right now, 
your only option, in my opinion, is not be average. Because if you're average guy, you know, you're going to be left in the dust. Because the ones that you do want, they only want this guy. And don't get me wrong, dudes are at an all-time high for being pathetic and losers and weak. Okay? That's why me up here, I have no problem getting girls. My DMs are flooded. These girls, it ain't stopping, bro. It is not stopping. I just talked to some fucking smoke show Brazilian chick. Some bodybuilder chick just casually just threw like one DM. She's just on the jock. You know, and this isn't even my final form. This is in final form MLD. But that's that's a problem because here's the deal. If it was like Japan, where all of these girls are hundred twenty, because the only reason these girls are valuable is because they're not fat. They're not fat. This is the only problem. The, these girls have value exclusively because they're not fat. But not being fat is like... Shut up and take you know, my money! Common sense and everywhere else in the world, except for America, I was like, oh, girl, you could be big and beautiful. And who's telling them this? Companies that want to sell their fat ass more goods. They don't give a fuck about these women. They don't give a shit about them. But the government's not doing its job, keeping the people alive, and the government is owned by fucking regulators um, who are bought and paid for by lobbyists. So, congratulations. That's America for you. That's, that's your modern dating problem. So, that's why I tell you guys here, just become the high-value man. And here's the deal. Here's the reason why. It's going to increase the quality of your life anyways. And if your guy's like, I don't want to become the high value man, then guess what? You are a loser. And you have to understand that and internalize that, that you are a loser, that you are a fucking embarrassment to your ancestry. Okay. You're an embarrassment to your genealogical line. That's what you are. You're a total fucking loser.